Hi, I'm Jas Mortier. It's time yet for another Tommy Cockbill bass cover, I think. Um, is, if you don't know Tommy Cockbill, you should. Super famous and he was involved in the, in the 60s and 70s in a lot of recordings in Muscle Shoals and in Memphis. And later he also became a super famous producer, uh, like with Elvis Presley amongst others. This particular song has the lineup, the classic Muscle Shoals lineup with Roger Hawkins on drums, Spooner Oldham on um, keyboard and um, with, uh, what's his name, Joe South and uh, Jimmy Johnson, of course, on guitar. As produced by Jerry Wexler, engineered by Tom Dowd, so that's uh, all classic stuff. The song is Nicky uh, Hockey. It's maybe not the most touching Aretha song out there, but uh, it's a fun song and it's got this killer bass line. I think I got all the, the details right, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. Uh, Sound-wise, I think you can get pretty close with, uh, with uh, P-Bass, with the mute and the flat rounds. Uh, I think you absolutely will need a uh, mic cabinet to get this, this particular sound. I got a 50-50 blend of the speaker DI from my SVT and the mic cabinet. My version of the song is stereo. I'm not sure whether there's also mono releases, but mine is stereo. And this is the early days of, uh, of the stereo recordings or stereo mixings. And in, like, as you know, they like to pan extremely in those days. So in this case, the bass is totally to the left and uh, the drums is totally to the right, for instance. So for play along rhythm section stuff, that's really helpful. So you can kill the bass or the drums completely if you like. But then you have to put the mono to spread the sound evenly over your left and your right ear. Uh, in this case, for the play along thing, I uh, panned it 75% to the right, so almost totally killed the bass. So you hear mainly me. Uh, after my clips, I included the left channel and then put a mono so you can hear Tommy full blast. So that's interesting to, to compare, I think. Um, in the end, I also included uh, the licks, all of the licks, but then slowed down. So hopefully that's helpful for you bass players out there. Uh, the form is pretty much standard blues form, at least the chord changes are pretty much standard uh, blues form, so 1, 4, 1, 5, 4, 1 changes, um, uh, but the length is not strictly 12 bars stretched here and there. Okay, I hope you like it, ciao! <laughs>
Yeah. 